Now, part five is all about preferences. So what makes you happy and what makes you sad? And we're gonna look at that through galaxy ripples and bananas, and then we're gonna link that to public service provision. So, um, economists describe joy using the word utility. The idea being that something gives you utility when you consume it. So in my hand today, I have uh, eight galaxy ripples, which brings me a lot of joy. And I equate that to the joy that I would get from five bananas. Um, now, if you put this onto a graph, which is what economists love to do, you can see that I've got ripples on the curve here, bananas on the line here, and then in the middle are these green curves. Now, what each one of these does is demonstrate the combination of ripples and bananas that you need to optimise your joy at any given point of resources. So, ideally, you know, I like a galaxy ripple, but I like a combination as well, you'd have a bit of bananas and a bit of galaxy ripple. So here is where I get to that curve. Now, if someone said to me, look, I'm just gonna keep giving you bananas forever, forever, ever, ever, actually the more bananas someone gives me, the more willing I am to substitute those for a galaxy ripple. So what happens here is you end up with a galaxy ripple being very valuable in comparison to the bananas. But that situation also then reverses. So when I have too many uh, bars of chocolate, actually I really want a banana. So I'm willing to sacrifice a lot more of these to get just one of these. That's why these curves are curved. Now, the idea is, is that actually, as you go out, as these curves go up the axis, uh, this is more joy. Now, often more joy comes from, you've got more of both, but actually it can be down to one person gets more joy from this than I do. One person may also get less joy than I do from this. Now, they are very difficult to map these curves, but this is essentially what the entire of commerce is based on in this country, which is understanding your customer. So when you walk into the supermarket, you think, oh, that's nice, they've got that thing I really like on offer. That's a coincidence. That is not a coincidence. They have read your preferences, they know what you're coming in for, and you fit a group of people using that supermarket that are gonna make that consumption decision. How this links, how Galaxy Ripples and Bananas link to public policy provision is exactly the same theory. The idea is, is that actually, until you understand what it is people need, it's very difficult to then supply it. So if you are a commissioner and you don't know what these curves look like, it's very, very difficult for you to actually provide those services. Now in healthcare, there are ways around it because you can say, well, we've done a needs assessment and we know, what, we know what needs are. But actually needs and preferences are quite opaque still and the information that we have is not always up to date, it's not always relevant and it's not always pinpointed. So really the point of this is to say, this graph demonstrates why commissioning and being a commissioner is tough because you have to essentially estimate what these curves look like for a load of people in a community that you don't know and have never met. But actually, until we do that, it will be very difficult to crack the provision of services which meet demand. Because until you understand demand, you can't meet the supply. Galaxy Ripples, Bananas, Public Service Provision.